Hello and welcome to the club. Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I was planning on a video showing you how to select different monitors and projectors and set up your desk size, your seat, and things like that. Well, I decided to take down my cockpit panel. Uh, I had it stored in the attic and I started to do some modifications to it and I started getting a little excited about it. One thing led to another and I, I think I want to take a quick break and show you what I'm coming across right now. Um, I think you'll like it. The first version of the cockpit panel had many different cables connecting all of the display signals back to my CPU. So I kept the CPU pretty close for that reason. Now I have all of that replaced with these two cables. This one is for power, 12 volts, and this is a USB 3. The USB 3 takes the signals from all of the displays and sends it to the CPU. Very easy with only one wire. As you can see, it's much faster powering up now. Software modifications help with that. Powering down, near instant as well. The displays can be, just as before, be powered down independently. And they can be turned right back on. While the displays may look like they're the same, the animations, they're actually fundamentally different. They're multi-layered so that you can change each main slideshow as you wish. We also can have animations. You can shut down any of the displays and it'll remember the animation that was playing when you powered back up. Even the character display has uh, gotten a little attention. It can go on and off at will. Now it gets fun. Here's a little extra damage when your hull is at about 50%. About 70% it gets real tough to read the screens. Powering it down has no effect. Still busted. Regardless of which animation scene you play, if your system's busted, it's busted for all of the systems on that dis single display. Each display is independent of the others. And when you think things just can't get any worse, yeah, you know your ship's really busted when you start seeing this. Yeah, shutting your display down, it's not going to help that. Only repairing the damage below the threshold amount will clear up the screen again. So at least you're now in a little bit less damage mode. The idea is going to be that the damage is somewhat random once you cross particular thresholds. And each of the displays will have a certain chance of getting this damage. So you might have some displays affected and some that are not affected. There may be a possibility of shutting down the system and turning it back on, and it might clear up the damage, a uh, random chance, but there's also a random chance the damage could get worse. I hope you found it interesting. If so, hit subscribe if you haven't done so. Tell your friends about it. Check it out. Any questions you have, put them in the comments section. I'll reply. And don't forget, we have a Discord channel too. I'll put it in the description down below the video. Have a good one.